Hello guitar enthusiasts, welcome back. My name is Lauren Bateman and in this lesson video, we're gonna do Angel from Montgomery. I'm gonna show you how to strum this song and have fun with it, so let's get started. There's two sections to the song that we're gonna be going over. First is the verse and second is the chorus. And we're gonna be using two different strumming patterns. So make sure to stay tuned so that you can learn both of those. The version of this song that we're gonna be doing, I know the song was written by John Prime, but I'm gonna be doing the Bonnie Raitt version because the chords are a little bit easier to play. We've got an E chord, an A chord, and a D chord, which makes it super, super simple to play. And that's the version we're gonna be working off of. If you need the chord chart for this song, make sure to go to my website. I'll put a link in description below so that you can go print that out and come back here. The first thing we're gonna do is talk about the verse. So the progression we have here is E, A, E, A, E, A, D, E. So eight chords, and then it repeats again. So that's gonna be the chord progression for our verse section. Now, how are we gonna go about strumming it? Now, the strumming pattern we're gonna be using is a little bit more of intermediate because we're gonna be changing on up strums and we're also gonna be pushing one of the chords. I'll explain what I mean. So, when we have this verse strumming, we have an E chord followed by an A chord. Well, the A chord is going to change on the fourth beat. So, instead of changing on the one, we're going to change on the four. So what will that sound like? It'll sound like this. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So that A chord's gonna feel like it's being hopped or pushed. Um, and you might've done some of my other videos that have this push strumming pattern. So let's talk about how we're gonna play the E chord. So the E chord is three beats of the measure. The E chord is gonna be one, a three and. So it's gonna be down, no down on the two, and three and. So down, up, down, up. That's our E chord. Down, up, down, up. Again, down, up, down, up. Now if you're a beginner and you wanna put a down on the second beat just to keep time, that's perfectly fine too. The easiest way to play this verse part, if you're looking for a super easy way, is just to do down strums on one and four. I am in a woman named after my mother. That's the simplest way to do it if all these syncopated strumming patterns are way over your head. And then on that fourth beat, we're gonna do it down and it's gonna be an A chord. So it's gonna sound like this. One, a three, and four. All right, and then we're gonna let that ring for a measure. So it's gonna be. So let's talk about the chord progression in the chorus because things are gonna change up just a little bit here. So every chord is splitting a measure and we have E, D, A, E. E, D, A, E, E, D. So it just basically just keeps repeating E, D, A, E. We do that one, two, three times. And then the last one, we have the fourth time it's E, D, A, E. And then we just stick on E, A, E, A, which takes us back into the verse. But first let's talk about how we're gonna change up the strumming for this section. So the chorus is gonna be a little bit more of a straight beat. We're not rushing any chords. Every chord is gonna split and get two beats. And the strumming pattern we're gonna be using is a 16th note pattern. It's gonna be down, 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 up. So one, two, and up. That's gonna be the E chord. And then the next chord, you just do the same thing. One, or three, four, and up. Down, 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 up. So if I do the first chord, it's gonna be one, two and a switch three four and a one two and a three four and a super cool song with some unique strumming patterns what i would do is practice going between the verse into the chorus and practicing the strumming patterns one right after another so that you can work on transitioning if you like this video make sure to like comment and subscribe if you haven't already i also have lots of other great song tutorials on my youtube channel you'll see some videos over here pick the one that you think would work best for you and i hope to see you guys in the next lesson video